I'm Joey King, and I'm going to talk to you about the power of one single kiss, ASMR style. Can one kiss really change your life? Well, I don't know what it is about this painting, if it's the gold, the actual kiss, or their embrace, but every time I look at the kiss by Gustav Klimt, I'm drawn in. Now, creativity can come in many forms, but what I see here is passion, desire, it's love. Like when Elle and Noah kissed in front of everyone in the kissing booth, it's them in public, but alone at the same time. There's the height difference for one thing, but it's the same ideal that connects us all as humans the desire to love and be loved. So to understand this is to understand Klimt, who is both controversial and admired for wanting to push back on the traditional historical art that I guess people used to see in the museums back then. So he created his own imaginary world and made art from the beauty of everyday life everyday moments, and the nature all around us. Now, I'm no art critic, but I can get into that. The kiss was painted during the end of Klimt's golden phase between 1908 and 1909, which was inspired by his trip to Ravenna in Italy, where he saw the vibrant and luminous mosaic of Theodora in the church of San Vitale. And in the early 1900s Vienna, Klimt was praised for his genius, but he was also criticized for some of his works that were thought to be too erotic. These two really seem to be simply embracing one another in a field of flowers, so nothing to be fussed about, right? Well, no. In fact, this piece was actually an answer from Klimt to those critics. Think of it as a 19th century olive branch to those that thought his work was too daring. Let's dive a bit deeper into this now. For a while, people thought that these two bodies entwined were simply an allegory of love immortalized within this blazing golden halo, but actually, some think that they represent the myth of Apollo and Daphne when she tried to escape Apollo and metamorphosed into a tree, which would explain these triangle flowers climbing up her leg. Others believe that the lovers are none other than Gustav Klimt himself and his longtime companion, Emily Fluga, who was a stylist and a fashion designer. The mystery is still incomplete, as Klimt never confirmed or denied any of it. Personally, I think Klimt just wanted to tease people. He was having fun with them. Oh, the joys of symbolism. Talking about fashion, though, Let's have a closer look at the patterns that decorate their robes. For the male figure, Klimt painted black, gray, and white cold rectangular patterns symbolizing masculinity, while her robe is ornamented with rounded patterns and floral motifs symbolizing the idea of femininity and fertility. Yeah, I know. All this is pretty binary, but let's not forget that it's the vision of a man from the early 20th century. If you take a step back and just look at the composition as a whole, it almost feels like their bodies are one living organism. This feeling is emphasized by the gold leaves in the background that Klimt worked in the manner of a goldsmith. This gold actually represents eternity, suggesting that we are no longer 
in the earthly plane, but in a divine world. I guess Gustav Klimt immortalized this kiss for eternity for our own benefit. <laughs>